Hey guys, Ingus here. So today I wanted to share with you a new scam at the Duel Arena. I just wanted to spread awareness about this so that other people don't get scammed like my friend who lost 270 mil. Now the premise of this scam is actually pretty simple. A guy comes up to you and says, hey, I've learned of a new method to anti-scam people. Probably show you like a one bill cash stack or something and asks, are you interested? Being just like any other unsuspecting player, of course you're interested. This man's rich. So he trades you a ring of dueling and you follow him. He'll take you all the way to the guards and then he'll say okay kill these guards for a prize and like obviously i'll trade you these items and you're gonna kill the guards with these items and he blends in a ring of wealth while he gives you these items and he gives you a cash stack at the same time now this is where the magic trick actually starts if you didn't know already the ring of wealth has an ability to automatically pick up coins for you when you kill an npc like most other items you would think that the ring of wealth wouldn't activate if it wasn't charged right and that's what i was thinking too i thought oh how is he gonna scam you this way so next the scammer will tell you to kill like five or six of these guards i should probably point out this will work anywhere that there is an npc that drops coins pretty commonly because most people seem to forget that because it's uncharged you won't know if it's on or off unless you've already had it on and most people just forget it on anyway so the guy asked for the stuff back so you trade him and they might give you something as a sort of prize like a berserker necklace or something stupid and then once you put in the cash stack that's when he realizes like i gave you exactly 100k but you gave me 106 gp that's how he knows that your ring of wealth is on and then he'll tell you are you on normal spell books and if you say yes he'll trade you again next the scammer gives you some runes so that you can hit each of the guards once with a spell like wind blast and then he'll tell you to follow him he'll be like okay for the next prize we'll do a test so you follow him to the duel arena, but unsuspectingly, he has another account log in at the palace. Now this account will come into play later, but keep that in mind. Next, he's going to trade you some seemingly random items to duel with. Notice the ring of wealth hiding in there again. Now this first trade is actually just a test run. This is how he buys your trust and makes you less suspicious. In actuality, he's training you to be comfortable with the items that he gives you so the scam can work later on. No special rules or anything, it's just like a normal duel. So when the duel starts, he tells you to equip your staff and start attacking him with the spell that you used before. This part takes forever and you'll probably get a little antsy, but this guy is definitely up to something. Next, he's gonna give you either like a bunch of potions or just random items or something like that. You'll have platinum tokens, runes, and staff in your inventory. So the guy challenges you to a duel again, but this time he adds a bunch of rules so that you can only do magic in this dueling arena stake. Now we didn't do it here, but the scammer will tell you to put up a certain amount of money, like 100 mil. In the actual scam, he also uses a low level count, like level 80, so that you're confident that you will win the stake. You're probably thinking, wow, this seems pretty obvious. How does anyone fall for this? But remember, the unsuspecting player thinks he is helping with an anti-scam, and he clearly beat the guy in the first duel, no problem. So he gets you to the last screen, and this is what happens. And now you can't put this on, but I can. And he literally just sits there because you can't do anything. And even if you look, see how I'm hitting on you? And if you were to try mage me, you would hit zeros the entire time because you have negative 65. And this is literally how he get the scam. Yeah. So these items I just pulled out of my bank and I was just lucky enough to pull out an earth battle stuff. But if the scammer trades you the items, then he will definitely just trade you a full inventory of like potions or something that you can't drink. So you're probably wondering, how did these coins appear in my inventories? Remember those guards that we killed earlier? Well, we only damaged them to about 50 or so. The scammer actually has another count waiting there to kill the guards. And since you have the ring of wealth equipped, the gold goes straight to your inventory. Your inventory is now full and you cannot attack him. I think it would be very hard to anti-scam them because the scammer will most likely check your inventory to make sure you don't have any things like an earth battle staff. Best way to deal with these scammers is to just ignore them and not listen to them. Even if it sounds like they're the good guy trying to anti-scam the scammers. Like in a lot of these scams, the scammer is disguised as the anti-scammer. In the case of Ice Sparrow, it wasn't even a random person. It was actually someone he had added on his friends list and had talked to a lot that had just randomly PM'd him to try and do this. So there was a lot of trust there that the person took advantage of. So here I am running to the fishing hamlet in it's like east of Wintertown. No one really goes here. It's a pretty unknown spot. 
It's been in the game for maybe a few few years now and I just wanted to show you that there's some weird things like I think 10 days ago or so someone on reddit discovered that if you're wearing a Brown snelm. Well, actually, let me show you before so normally if you talk to this guy you just speak in gibberish, right? And that's it. But this is what someone discovered is that if you wear the snelm and talk to him He actually has some dialogue. What what do you think this might mean for Sarah quest line for the upcoming quests for maybe a new boss or something? I don't know, it's very interesting to me. And this last part here, to visit their watery hall, answer their call, embrace the fall, and save us all. Which is really interesting, because if you go over here, there is a giant crevice with like some skeletons. I'm sure he died of natural causes like a massive dragon or something. That's kind of strange to me too. There's also little fish bits here as well. Strange things. I don't know, this is a, definitely a cool place to check out. You also see that there's a Fremnik boat here. This guy's a Fremnik, 100% too. You can even see by the name. Over here, there's also a smelly journal that you can read as well. Here you can learn a little bit about where he comes from. I read it all myself, so uh, I don't know. Maybe one of you guys has an idea about like what this could mean for bossing and future quests and whatnot. There's also this strange shell sitting right here. When you examine it, look, it says, amongst other things, I can hear the ocean within. No doubt this has to be uh, related to whatever is controlling him. Aha, okay, here we go. So remember that uh, weird seashell from before? Check this out. What the hell is this? Standing stone. This has been in the game for quite a while, like I think at least a few years. I've known about this for a little while. I was wondering if any of you guys have seen this or have been exploring. This is so interesting to me. I haven't seen anyone talk about it. One of the most curious things to me over here is this weird purple marking. Like as far as I know, I, c I haven't been able to find anything that matches this marking. The uh, ancient symbol is slightly different, like the Zerosian symbol, it's slightly different. So I don't think it's that, I think it's something else, but for now, uh, we're not really sure what it is. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know if anyone has any ideas about, about this stuff. But wait, there's actually something even weirder that I want to show you. And you have to run all the way out here. Let's see if I can get it. Aha! Okay. You see, right over this mountain, there's something over there. You see that? If you look on this, on this map right here, there's something over there. And you can just barely make it out from here. Luckily, we have the detached camera option right here. So let's go take a closer look. It appears to be like someone fighting. I, I'm not sure what this is. Yeah, I have, I have no idea. I'm not sure. My only thought is maybe this was part of Dragon Slayer 2, like something. Uh, maybe it's from a cutscene or an unreleased cutscene. Let me know what you guys think about this. I have, I am honestly baffled. I, I was also wondering if anyone's ever noticed this strange goat that is on this rock. I'm like, here, let me show you. I'm, uh, I'm like northeast of Piscarilius. And if you right click examine him, his name's Billy, by the way. It says, Billy is a bad goat. Very ominous. <laughs> Very mysterious, in, in my opinion. And the thing is, this doesn't even look like a normal goat. It looks pretty evil. Like, the, the goats in RuneScape don't look like this normally. Now, there's also this old dwarf that I, I'm not sure how long it's been. Okay, it's been here since January 10th, 2019. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure if this is old news or, or is unheard of, but I just found this out the other day. So right here, uh, the character asks, you didn't leave anything behind, did you? I'm sure I can pry whatever it is from their malicious mitts. And he said, a few pots, but without my tools, they won't do me any good. But here, when you talk to him normally, it's a, he says, a thief took my bag in the night. They took everything. He had an old pan flute, a dirty book, and a charred skull. A lot of people don't know this, but you can actually use the book on him because there's a page in it that mentions a tinker. This is the tinker that is mentioned in this book. So the pots that he mentioned, look, there's actually a spot here that you can search them, but... When you search them, you don't find anything 
uh, interesting. Very curious, very curious. Maybe if you use something on the pots, it would trigger some sort of reaction. There's also a grave here as well, which is even more weirder. The same skeletons that attacked him. Anyways, that's all I wanted to show you guys today. Before I go, I'd like to say that this weekend, my Discord is doing a little event called Vorkath Weekend. See who can get the most kills while chilling in the Discord call or hanging out. And if you'd like to uh, join up, then check out my Discord in the event chat. You can sign up your name so you can track your kill count. I'll also be streaming this on Twitch the whole time as well. So that's all for me. I hope you have a nice day and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Peace.